All right, guys, I finished the roof. Um, roof in, I don't know, that's roofs? <laughs> I was trying to think of the plural term of the root word roof. But, um, okay, let's see the complicated parts that I was going to explain. So here, again, um, so it goes up to a point, but then I let that point extend into this roof and just met up with the same blocks. So nothing too complex there. Um, when it meets up, it stops, and the bottom edge goes one further, just to kind of round out that um, portion. So this one goes all the way over. I actually went clear back here instead of just to one. But, um, so from the front, oh, there's bats in there. It's all dark now. Um, <laughs> uh, so instead of going to an actual point, um, you've got two on top since this is an, uh, an odd um, wall. It's even, so it can only go up to two. And then instead of going to an, another point up here and making the house even taller, I just cut it off right there for the entire upper portion. So this point, it goes to a point as well, but over here, it would go up even further, and I just decided to cut it off there. Actually, I might put some skylights in over here. And then um, this portion here, the, the one over by this trellis, actually extended the trellis a little bit more, so it comes out one more than it used to. But this just extends all the way back, same with the three-wide pathway, until, um, so this pathway, so keeping it three-wide, you got you end in a little three-by-three three here, and then go in three-by-three. Three. Um, so, so when you reach this corner of the three-by-three three right here, place your pillars just outside of that three by three square and then you will know where to end that roof right there so like that and then i think i'm probably going to be putting a pillar here oh there supporting the roof or the second floor and like that um we'll have a different kind of little area back here so i'll do that when i do the backyard but um that is the roof portion um yeah so it wasn't too complex just actually putting it in and um yeah so so that should be all right um in here let's put some lights in or at least some lighting somewhere. It's very dark, as the bats have noticed. All right. So there'll be lights up in the upstairs as well. Uh, let's see. We do the floors next, just to kind of complete floors and ceilings next, to complete the area, kind of. And then we can probably furnish. Oh, ac actually, let me give you the dimensions for the basement as well. I, I forgot about that. Um, we also have a basement area. Slide this up as well. Just for, because I, I kind of ran out of space for bedrooms, because there's just kind of a little open area in the front room, and then there's the kitchen and dining and stuff, and the office, and I was like, crap, where do I put bedrooms? So I put the master bedroom in the upstairs portion, and then some smaller bedrooms in the basement. But the basement, so this front room, it follows the same exact dimensions, so you just cut down so that there's three blocks underneath the, what will be the floor. And then, um, if you go in here, so this wall corresponds with this wall as well, so four blocks, four blocks, so you leave a three wide opening, and then... There'll be a room here, so go in four, place another wall, and that'll be a bathroom. And then to either side, so when you get inside this room, um, where the kitchen will be, and there's the office and stuff, um, follow that wall, and then extend it three blocks so that you have a little bit more room to work with with the bedrooms. And I just did that on both sides. I could make it even longer, but I, I thought I didn't need to. So just a, just a small basement with two extra bedrooms. And yeah, so I will cover up this area with some spruce wood for the floors, slash ceiling for the basement, and then I will place a cobblestone um, ceiling, I think, at this level. Yeah, that looks that looks about right. So I'll place a ceiling of cobblestone all through here, and um, in this front room area, though, um, let's see. So I'm going to need to extend this wall up. So this will go all the way over, I believe, this wall, and go all the way up to the ceiling, and then I'll make the ceiling a little bit look a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do, <laughs> and then come back and try to explain. It shouldn't be too too difficult to follow. So I'll see you guys in a, another second. All right, guys, it is turning into a house, actual house. <laughs> um, actually, let's do this. So I'm trying to make it look a little bit better inside. It's kind of an oddly shaped place. So this upper area, <laughs> let's try to explain this. So originally, this was all sandstone and there was none of these so if i take away these so i filled in the roof partially to make just that little square up top and i made a nice big old skylight i might make it a little bit smaller i'm not sure um up there and then i was like crap this area is weird so the second floor um it comes out like this, so the stairs will go up, and then you'll be able to like look out the front window or just look over into the front room. Um, but to make this look a little bit better, I followed the lines. So like this line, I just made it extend all the way over to the wall. And then this line, I added this column right here. 
And then again, this line, I added this column. And then just kept the materials going through. So that cobblestone. And then as well, I kept the materials going through with the, well, <laughs> with the um, spruce wood. So that extends out and goes around here as well. So I just did this. Oh yes, um, rooms for the, this is the master suite. So I did a kind of little half wall. So it's only three high. Um, and so you've got just a three wide area. Go around here, I'll probably put a bed here. And then I made a wall here, three wide. Then another wall, four wide. So the three wide will be a closet and then the four wide will be a bathroom. And that should be a pretty decent space for the master bedroom. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna put up here, but something, maybe just like a couch or table or something. Um, also, when I was doing the floors for the basement, I realized I need to go down even further. So instead of just doing three underneath that um, level, the floor level, I went one more so that I could place lights in the ceiling. And so I placed a cobblestone ceiling on the basement and just same thing, nothing else changed, just went down another level. And then these stairs, all right, so stairs, they start two into the room. Um, I'll make these fit in a little bit better, but, um, and then they come out one in the basement. So you can see that go up two, platform, and then go up three. And then we'll do stairs going upstairs. Yeah, that, that looks all right. So we'll start there. Oh, yes opening. So yeah, I, I I remembered a lot of things that I um, needed to do as I was doing the floors. So also the entryway to the kitchen area, um, three blocks and then it's a three by three opening. So three blocks from that wall is a three by three opening. Going here, I did partial um, half block floor so that um, this will be the kitchen because usually you put tile in the kitchen so that when you make a mess, you don't make a mess in the carpet. Um, all right, and that is the kitchen area, um, hallway, and then the office. I'll be putting doors on here so you won't see that weird transition. Um, actually, probably do one right there. Yeah. And then, um, let's see, so wood floor for everything else, and cobblestone ceiling except for where that's the second level, um, is wood. Um, I might put like a support beam or something right there just to help with that transition. I don't know, something like that. And all right, so this upper floor. Um, first, let's see how far this extends for you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This upper floor area in that front room. And then this will go up even one more until you have two left and then you make your platform. And then we need to go up some more. So place more stairs. And there we go. Yeah, that, that seems fine. Except let's just cut off that. Yeah, and then let's bring up this all the way to the top. Or at least like that, maybe. Should we go all the way to the top? Uh, How about we, yeah, let's do that. Um, and then bring this out two more. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. How about we bring this out too? like that. Yeah, that's better. Very dark staircase. I need to add some lights. Um, yeah. I think that looks good. A little staircase area. Um, quickly place some glass panes for kind of a railing there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to place 
that across the top as well. There we go. And, um, and then extend the railing along here. Oh, except, yeah. So like that, so you can't fall off. As well as right there. There we go. Now it's all safe. You can maybe place right there as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'd, um, uh, maybe a couch here? I don't know. Um, we're actually about to that pseudo furnishing phase. Except, uh, windows and stuff. Windows, windows. So here, we can do something like that. Except maybe not that far over. Just like that. Oh, oh! One thing I totally forgot. The outside. So, um, it's kind of boring like this. If we accent it with some little notches of, um, wood on the side. Like that, and like... So every time you hit a corner, you've got these little notches. Going in. Oh. And up here. Uh, we'll just go like that. The corner there. Oh, got a corner here. Just to kind of make the outside look a little bit more appealing. I'll, I will be putting some bushes and stuff in places, but this will this will help. Just like that, like that. Like that. Over here. And over here. How about we just make the garage straight? Differentiate it a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, and more corners. How about we do the upper floor is all straight up and down? Uh, except for maybe this one. Like that. Like that. Clear over here. Yeah, we're gonna need some windows. <laughs> it's a big flat plain wall. Need windows to break it up. Uh, and as well as, I think, straight like that. Yeah. So now it's not quite so boring. It's got a little bit more visual interest. Okay, windows, windows. Um, so I put a window in there. How about we put some windows on the side as well? I think I did like this. Just some small windows up top. And did the same thing on the other side. All right. Yeah, it's like that. I don't know, maybe this one a little bit lower or something. Eh, you don't need to see out of it. There we go. And in here, so the kitchen. Hmm. Oh, I know I want a big window in the back. Like that. And maybe one over the door right here. This is, this is gonna be a weird space. The backyard is gonna be like a separate segment in and of itself. It's a little bit odd. Um, oh yeah, I, I think I wrapped this around earlier. So you just keep the three wide path and then I had it meet up with the door so I went out one. I think I'll put like some water, or some bushes here. Um, let's see. Windows. I can't put any windows here. So maybe... What if we put windows... Yeah, looking out here. You can see out that, right? All the way across? No, no, no. Like that. Now that looks a little bit bizarre. Nope, nope, don't do it. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just go like that. Need some windows up there. Well, maybe down one. Mm, to be level with that window? Like that? Sure. <laughs> Let's do that. And we'll need some sort of window here. We'll do another one that you can't look out of. <laughs> I don't know why I like those right now. Uh, let's do some tall skinny ones. Ooh, another tall skinny one. If you can see around this block. Tall skinny ones. Um, in this room. Uh, nothing in the closet. How about we just do some of those tall skinny ones. Just, just too... Ugh, this is difficult. Something like that. This is a bathroom you don't want to be able to see inside. And I'm not sure what to put here. Let's we'll punch out a big area. With two windows like that or something. I don't know. Again, when I start furnishing, these things kind of fix themselves so that they fit around the furniture better. Um, so that's windows up there. Maybe need some windows in here. Oh, there. Still see out. And one right there. Oh, this is bizarre. <laughs> I haven't had this much trouble doing windows in a long time. Where's the garage at? What if we do some long skinny ones here? Maybe like three of them. Yeah, something like that. All right. Um, that seems good for now. Um, let me go check something on the other plan, and I'll be back. All right. Um, let's see. I think that's everything for this portion. Um, oh, we needed the backyard. Backyard. Um, I'm going to need to level out some of this area. 
Oh, this is going to be difficult. 